So I swear every time I jump on to do a Gears of War 2 video, it's security. But anyways, what's going on guys? Like Butter here. And god, that like menu music just brings me back to the first night of Gears of War 2. I remember we were at the midnight uh, release around like 12 a.m. I was with my buddies in Connecticut. And we got Gears of War 2 and we came home. We actually played Horde most of the night, just trying to get used to the controls. But, my god, was Gears of War 2 fun when the game first came out. Even though it was broken, we didn't care. It was so new and fresh, and with the new maps, the new weapons. My god, that game was... This game was awesome. Oh, fuck. I got one down. Alright. So, I thought I'd jump on since it's been a while since I... Oh! Oh, come on. It's been a while since I brought you guys a Gears of War 2 video, so I thought I'd do a quick little live com. This is the first time I played Gears 2 in a really, really, really long time. You know, what makes me really sad about Gears 2 is... Yeah, the connect... Like, you can say some things about, like, the mechanics and stuff, obviously... The fact that hip firing, um, you know, does less damage than hard aims. That's just silly. That's that's all title update 6 bullshit. What you guys need to realize is, like, title update 3 actually made Gears of War a really, really good game. And uh, I don't know why they would change anything from title update 3. I, I think they were just listening too much uh, to, like, the casual, like, people on the Epic Forums just complaining about stupid shit even though they play it they pretty much just play horde the entire day anyways so it just didn't make sense to begin with um but oh uh, what the fuck this guy's rolling at me oh my god oh my god okay well that went a little bit better than this than i thought it was going to oh uh, of course you're just, you're just hard aiming in the corner aren't you man There we go. Boy, that's a good freaking feeling to be able to body someone like that in one hit. Um, but the biggest issue with Gears of War 3 was uh, was the connection. Like, that that was the biggest thing for me, at least. I don't know about you guys. Like, a lot of the reasons why things don't work in this game is because of the connection. Like, I played this game, Title Update 2, on land quite a bit. Dude, it was a fun game. So I would love, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up to date with Halo and what they're doing with the Halo 2 anniversary. Oh my god, I'm going to be playing the shit out of that. Like, big ups to like Quinn Del Hoyo. Most of you guys uh, probably remember the name. Um, he was actually uh, with Epic Games for Gears of War 3. And I'm not sure if he was for Judgment, but, um, ow. Alright, pick me up, dude. I'm, I'm literally right here. Thank you. Um... But yeah, so he, him and like 343 Industries have been doing such an amazing job on, on like resurrecting Halo by doing the Halo 2 anniversary and that looks amazing. MLG is even looking into picking it up. Like now that's, if that's not amazing, I don't know what is. The fact that something like MLG, like a corporation like MLG, thinking about picking up a remake of a game that was made back in the early 2000s is just incredible. At least to me, like that is just unbelievable that they're gonna be able to accomplish something like that. And I think that's what Gears of War needs. Like I feel like Halo in Gears is like almost, it's almost scary how similar in their positions are, you know? Uh, Lancer and uh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Take my kill. I don't care. Another one jumped in. Oh yes, team. Yes, team. He's down. Fantastic job right there. Um, but I think it's just crazy how how similar their their situations are. So imagine this, guys. Okay, Gears of War one remade with fixed graphics, or uh, you know, like the with the wall glitch fixed and 60 frames per second with updated graphics okay think about gears of war 2 with dedicated servers and upgraded graphics as well also 60 fps like dude if they made a, a marcus phoenix collection like the master chief one dude gears of war would get a res resurrected so crazily and it would it would cause so much hype for gears 4 what i'm thinking they might do is they might see how gears 4 does and then like maybe due to how well that does um, determine whether they want to go ahead and do like a collection or not. Uh. 
So maybe that's going to be, maybe it's something that they're going to wait for the 10 year anniversary, but dude, I would love to see something like that even before. Oh, come on team. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, I don't know what the gunplay guy's doing. I had someone down. He felt like running for frags was more important. Oh, we got a double kill with a planted nade, though. And... Oh, live, live, live. He's got to live here. Now, where is the teammate? Oh, there's no teammate. Wait, yeah, there is. Where is our teammate? He's in spawn. Jesus Christ. Oh, he wasn't in spawn. What the fuck was he doing? Hey, you deserve to die, man. You're an idiot. But that all started with the fact that I was inside just... Uh, whatever. Had one downed, and the other dude just hard-aimed me. But I feel like this game with dedicated servers, and maybe they up the speed and, like, fix a couple glitches. Oh, my God. Give me all that. And then they wouldn't really have to do much to Gears 3 besides just uh, maybe add some old-school maps or something, and then... Um, and then do something cool like just 60 frames. Okay. Now, what I want to know... Now, did I get flanked? Because if I got flanked, I'll understand why I died. But why do I feel like that dude that was sliding into the wall bodied me? Like, he just bodied me while he was mid-sliding animation. Which would be lag. On his screen, he already hit the wall and shot me, so... I really hope that's not what just happened. That's fucking incredible. Like, holy shit, man. But yeah, this game with dedicated servers, dude. Because the maps aren't the issue, you know? Like, you know, I made that video talking about the, the uh, Marcus Phoenix collection. A couple people caught on and, and made videos as well. But I was pretty disappointed to only see that we got like 5,000 signatures even after my video. Um, some people were even saying in the comment section that it wouldn't be a good idea to do like a Marcus Phoenix collection. I'm like, dude, what, what are you on about, mate? It would be freaking incredible. It would lit it would single handedly resurrect the series. Like, I don't know. Some people just talk out their fucking ass, man. I got one down. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm full red. Oh, shit. That's the power of the freaking... Oh, he's right here. I got him. That's my kill, guys. Oh, my God. The bunch of vultures going for my shit. Did you guys see that? So, I'm not playing the best this game, but I'm being as much of a support role as possible. I got five downs. So, whatever. As long as we win, I don't care how well I do. Gears of War 2 is a, a team-based game. It's all about winning. If I can go five and three, I'll be happy with that. If I can get two kills. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That's not our ink. This one is over here. We got a teammate moving up. Okay, well, I took that kill because I didn't think anyone was getting it. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I didn't do fantastic, but like I said, I played like a support role. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the whole Master Chief collection. Or, you know, Master Chief collection. Also, if you think Marcus Phoenix collection would be awesome as well. I feel like it's doable because it is Microsoft and they might want to go... A similar route since they've done pretty much exactly what the halo series has been doing but thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys soon peace out everybody